We all love the monstrous villains in horror movies, from Freddy to Jason to Michael Myers, the horror movie monster never gets old. But there are a few out there that are just downright sexy, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Hey guys, welcome back to Top 5 Scary Videos, I'm your host Lucy McPhee, and this is the Top 5 Horror Movie Monsters Who Are Hot In Real Life. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be reading out some of your comments and perhaps there will even be a special guest joining me. Alright, let's jump in. Then suddenly there appeared ah. for me In at 5, An American Werewolf in London. Released in 1981, An American Werewolf in London is a horror comedy that tells the story of two American students who are attacked by a werewolf while on holiday in England. One is killed, but the other, David, survives, transforming him into a werewolf as well. What ensues is David's battle to remain good and his struggle between his moral code and his cannibalistic needs. Eventually, the latter wins and David slaughters a group of people on the streets of London. It's bloody and gruesome, yet oddly sexy. Just hear me out. Not only is there a very sexy shower scene between David and his love interest, but David, in general, is just f***ing hot. And the actor who played him, David Norton, though he didn't age well, was just as sexy at the time. I mean, just take a look. In at 4, Jennifer's Body. I mean, of course this film is going to be on our list. Though panned at the box office, receiving very mixed reviews by critics, this film has arguably become a popular cult classic for horror, dark comedy lovers out there. Released in 2009, Jennifer's Body follows a high school student Jennifer, who becomes demonically possessed after a band use her in a sacrificial ritual in order to gain success, offering up her virginal body to Satan. However, Jennifer wasn't a virgin, causing her to become permanently possessed, essentially making Jennifer a succubus, a demon that feeds on men by having sex with them and then slaughtering them. And that's exactly what she does. Now, the entire film is sexy, there's no denying that, but when you think Jennifer's body, there is literally one and one scene alone that stands out the makeout session between Megan Fox and Amanda Seyfried. Yeah. It came completely out of the blue, and even though we knew Jennifer was possessed, oh boy did we want it to go all the way. Sadly it didn't. Megan Fox, though playing a demonic succubus, is an absolute babe on and off the screen, and completely challenges viewers moral compass as we silently root for her but at the same time know she is a terrible human who needs to survive by slaughtering and killing. I still love her. In at 3, The Fly. Jeff Goldblum is an absolute dreamboat. In 1986, and even now in 2018, he is a god. I wouldn't say no. Ever. I would marry him if I could. So in 1986, when The Fly came out, folks were left all hot and bothered, but also very sexually confused, because you know, he's a mutated fly. The film follows Seth Brundle, played by Jeff Goldblum, the scientist who invents a set of telepods that allows for instantaneous teleportation of inanimate objects. But of course, that isn't enough for Seth, and he ends up teleporting himself. Unbeknownst to him, a fly is in the telepod with him. Throughout the film, he gradually deteriorates until he morphs into his monstrosity. Take a look. Gross. But don't fret, here's a picture of the beautiful Jeff Goldblum from a 2018 article. Here. He's a beautiful man, and I love him. I just can't look away. Those glasses. In it too, Species. Now, Species is an absolute gem. Released in 1995, it has an absolutely stellar cast. Ben Kingsley, Michael Madsen, Alfred Molina, Forrest Whitaker, and in her debut film role, Natasha Henstridge. The film follows government scientist Xavier Fitch, who intercepts a space transmission which happens to contain a genetic sequence for alien life form. So with that, he creates Syl, an alien-human hybrid who of course is absolutely gorgeous. Syl eventually embarks on a mission to find a suitable male to impregnate her, and the government dispatch assassins in order to stop her. Okay, first of all, just look at this picture. Need I say more? Natasha Henstridge, who plays Syl, is beautiful, and born in Newfoundland, Canada. Rep Canada. I mean, her work is nothing to write home about, but Species is pretty damn great. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you give it a watch. And finally in at number one, Dracula. This just had to be our number one. It couldn't not be. Released in 1958, this British horror stars the late, great Christopher Lee as Count Dracula. And let's face it, no one will ever top the performance he gave in this film. Ever. Vampire hunter Van Helsing is led to Count Dracula's castle while on a mission to find his missing friend, and upon arriving, discovers Dracula's next intended victim and is forced to protect them at all costs, while attempting to put an end to Dracula's reign of terror. Now, although an undead bloodsucker, Christopher Lee is just downright sexy, and for those younger viewers who think he looks familiar but can't quite put your finger on it, yes, Christopher Lee played Saruman in the Lord of the Rings franchise. Slightly less sexy, but still wouldn't say no. Sadly, Lee passed away on June 7th, 20. 
2015 at the age of 93, but he left behind a very prolific and enviable filmography. And yes, we should be talking about his looks, but he was an absolute trailblazer for the horror genre, and he is dearly missed. And yes, he was an absolute babe in every respect. Well, there we have it. Did you agree with our list, or were there other monster hotties that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below, and perhaps we can do a part two so we can objectify more Hollywood stars, because isn't that just a joy? If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. Before I go, I just want to read out a few comments from one of our last vids, Top 5 Scary Lost Tapes That Will Keep You Up At Night, which was a collab with Kelly Powley. Dude CX said, I love the swearing in its perfect moments. It's like a masterpiece. Thank you. I really f***ing appreciate that. Dude CX also said, If these two aren't related, I'd ship them. It's like a love-hate romance. I'm weird. Don't judge me. Tell me about it. We honestly can't stand each other. Doing collabs together is so very painful for both of us, but we secretly love it. Lion Animation said, Why do they look like they're going to kiss? They are so close to each other. Just kiss each other. Jeez. And Conrad responded to that comment saying, I get weird feelings of sexual tension with these cute girls. Lol. And Lion Animations once again responded with, Me too, mate. Even if I am a girl, it would be hot or cool if they kiss out of nowhere. It does look like it, doesn't it? They are just so close to each other. Just kiss each other. Kelly?